It is a privilege to see this coordinating center. Yes. Finally, Obi-Wan's solution for failure of the Red Superhero's ability to deal with the crime on their patch can be addressed. Maybe. I spent hours working on operational and technical aspects of this system. Oh. None of them were incorporated. I guess there are always constraints. The leader of the Red Superheroes spent all the money on the system you see as well as an electronic fly zapper for his office. It will help us coordinate the fight against crime. That was the original purpose. So the system will identify hot zones and allow us to target resources. No. It will allow us to measure our performance and improve. No. Oh. It prints glossy reports about the Red Superheroes' activities and successes for use by the leader of the Red Superheroes and the CEO? So until we asked for access to assist with identifying the crimes that the Red Superheroes could not cope with what was different? There was no changes to the root problem but there were more glossy publications. At least now Obi-Wan's dream of collaboration to attack crime has commenced. Yes. Why was an electronic fly zapper also needed? The reasons for the prevalence of flies in the office of the leader of the Red Superheroes remains unknown. I guess strategies such as removal of food residues and rotting flesh or other attractants or the use of cheap CFC-free biodegradable and environmentally friendly surface aerosols failed. No. They were deemed irrelevant by the leader of the Red Superheroes in favor of an unproven expensive electronic solution. The CEO supported this? Yes. The CEO does not like flies. Is that a crime alert? No. It is a fly alert. There must be a fly that has passed through the electronic zapper and into the red superhero leader's office. The crime alerts come on handwritten pieces of paper by pigeon to our offices. So what do these supercomputers behind us do? They collate the activity after we enter it into an unusable format but issue the glossy reports. Weren't you listening? It is a good thing that we are fictional characters. This could not happen in the real world. Or could it?